A journey towards excellence takes many hands. And hard work. It takes an unwavering commitment to our values of safety. Integrity. Caring. And excellence. It takes an amazing team to put the wheels in motion. Welcome to 2012 at the Hospital of Central Connecticut. An amazing hospital central to your life. It's been a busy, exciting year at the hospital. We launched H3W, which stands for How Hartford Healthcare Works. This year, our H3W work groups got underway, with every employee a member of a group. Those closest to the action now have a strong voice in how we work and how we work better. We also began a journey to become a highly reliable organization, to make our hospital safer and reduce the number of preventable errors. Our safety champs are a critical part of this. Everyone is being trained in error prevention techniques and behaviors. There's an epidemic in American hospitals, an epidemic of preventable harm. The difference is we're going to do something about this at the Hospital of Central Connecticut. We're adapting methods utilized in other high-risk industries where the risk of failure is potentially catastrophic. Industries like aviation and nuclear power, these industries had safety profiles that looked a lot like healthcare today, 30 years ago, but now they are ultra safe. The methods that they've adapted involve error prevention techniques and leadership techniques to change the game so that we can operate much more reliably and eliminate preventable harm. We also launched our one project this year. One project, one record, one team. With this project, each patient now has one electronic record. In addition, through our new patient portal, MyHOCC, patients have secure access to parts of their record, including lab results and more. And we're building an amazing brand. New signs with our new logo are at both campuses, increasing our visibility and strengthening our connection to Hartford HealthCare. In addition, we launched a new ad campaign promoting our amazing doctors, central to your life. It features TV, radio, print, and outdoor ads, as well as online and social media components. Amazing! Our new technology is amazing. This year, doctors performed our first robotic colectomy, as well as single incision cholecystectomy, which shortened the patient's road to recovery. Our robotic surgery program has grown so quickly that we are acquiring a second robot. We're transforming the care of cancer from one in which it's fragmented, frustrating, and at times frightening to a new model where the care is coordinated, choreographed, and clinically integrated. The structure that will marry this function is our new ambulatory cancer center, 70,000 square feet on the New Britain Plainville line, that will be the future for ambulatory care services, one-stop shopping and coordination of care where patients will be able to receive world-class diagnostics, therapeutics, including research and education. We broke ground in October and have received tremendous support from our community. As we work to optimize our patients' cardiac health, our all-heart cardiac rehabilitation program recently received three-year certification by the American Association of Cardiovascular and Pulmonary Rehabilitation. Certification recognizes us as leaders in the rehabilitation field, offering the most advanced practices available. And we opened a new congestive heart failure resource center. Our commitment to serving our communities continued this year with the opening of a family enrichment center on the New Britain General Campus. The center provides programs for new mothers and families at no cost. In Southington, we open new primary care, cardiology, and neurology offices. And we expanded hours and locations for our doctors of Central Connecticut offices in New Britain, Plainville, Kensington, and Unionville. Recognition and awards strengthen our reputation for excellence. In 2012, we were one of only two hospitals in the state recognized for our efforts to promote breastfeeding by the International Board of Lactation Consultant Examiners 
and the International Lactation Consultants Association. We were also named by the National Consortium of Breast Centers as a certified quality breast center. We're the only one in Connecticut to receive this honor and one of only 18 throughout the United States. Our Stroke Center also received recognition this year for providing excellent, timely care that can help reduce damage caused by a stroke. And on the local front, the Hartford Business Journal presented us with the 2011 Healthcare Hero Award for our collaborative work to reduce readmissions of heart failure patients. Among our excellent physicians, pediatrician Noelle Long received the Above and Beyond Award from the Mill Foundation for Kids for her work to enrich the lives of sick kids. And Dr. Jean Weigert was honored for her research in ultrasound screenings for women with dense breasts. Her findings indicate a potential to diagnose breast cancers that might not have been seen in a traditional mammogram. Our nurses are amazing too. Denise Peterson, Vice President Patient Care Services and Chief Nursing Officer, was recently named a Fellow of the American College of Healthcare Executives. Nurse Natalie Cooper received the Viola Larson Memorial Award for clinical expertise and leadership, while Bettina Magliato received the Excellence in Patient Safety Award for her work leading the hospital's Pressure Ulcer Prevention Committee. Our celebrated William A. Pettit Physician Service Award went to Dr. David Krugman, an honorary medical staff member, for his extraordinary commitment to the hospital, our patients, and the community. The New England Society for Healthcare Communications honored the hospital once again with six awards for the winning entries focused on our maternity and robotic services, our Walk with a Doc program, and the hospital's Wait No More campaign. We also demonstrate our value through our commitment to improve energy efficiency and reduce carbon dioxide and other emissions by changing our lights. This step is estimated to save the hospital over $100,000 in annual utility costs and save about 12 and a half million kilowatts of energy. Amazing. We've added many amazing doctors and staff in 2012. We have a new chief of pediatrics a new director of hematology oncology, new cardiologists with our doctors of Central Connecticut and Southington, and a new surgical oncologist and gynecological oncologist. We also strengthened our medical staff with a number of additional physicians. And we were pleased to promote two staff members to senior leadership positions. Our community programs grow more popular each year. Thanks to a $50,000 grant from the Connecticut affiliate of Susan G. Komen for the Cure, we are supporting breast cancer awareness efforts and provide free mammograms for underserved women. Our energizing Walk with a Doc program has now gone system-wide, with walks in Avon, Bristol, Cheshire, Plainville, New Britain, Southington, West Hartford, and Wallingford. In July, we reached a milestone of 1,000 participants. Once again, we held the annual Healthy Family Fun Fest in conjunction with Central Connecticut Senior Health Services and the Southington Cheshire Community YMCA. More than 2,000 people attended the event, which featured health information and fun activities for people of all ages. Another popular event, our annual Cancer Survivors Day Breakfast, saw more than 800 cancer survivors and their loved ones gather at the Aqua Turf Club in Southington. Sponsored by our George Bray Cancer Center, this is the 20th year for the breakfast. We also continue to support our employees' quest to get healthy. This year, with our Wait No More program, we encourage physical activities and healthy eating, along with team challenges. We've also formed a partnership with New Britain Emergency Medical Services Academy. Students come to the hospital for a three-month clinical internship to gain hands-on training and guidance from experienced healthcare professionals. An important part of our journey is the engagement of our amazing employees. In 2012, we recognized over 400 employees at our Employee Recognition Awards reception. Kelly Broad, a pharmacist at the New Britain General Campus, earned the President's Award for Excellence in Customer Service. This is the hospital's highest customer service honor. In addition, Judy Eaves of Information Technology Services 
and Cheryl Sable of Administration Facilities Management received Medical Staff Recognition Awards at the event. During National Healthcare Volunteer Week, we thanked hundreds of volunteers who logged over 110,000 volunteer hours on our campuses. We received $200,000 this year from our tireless New Britain General Campus Auxiliary. The funds are allocated toward their $1 million pledge for our new cancer center. And thanks to a generous donation from our Bradley Auxiliary, employees are enjoying a new patio at the Southington campus. The 22nd annual golf tournament sponsored by the auxiliaries at both campuses raised another $87,000 for the new cancer center. Additional fundraising events this year included the Bradley Memorial Campus Auxiliary Annual Fashion Gala and the 2012 Chrysanthemum Ball, an elegant evening sponsored by the New Britain General Auxiliary, with proceeds also earmarked for the new cancer center. 2012 was an amazing year. With an unwavering commitment to our values of safety, integrity, caring, and excellence. The Hospital of Central Connecticut. We're an amazing hospital. With amazing doctors. Amazing employees. And amazing accomplishments. The Hospital of Central Connecticut. An amazing hospital, central to your life.